Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be starting my Journey to Level Cap series for Black Desert Online as the game actually launches for the people that bought the Conqueror's Pack in about 11 minutes. So I'm incredibly excited. I played this game for a little bit on the Korean servers. I loved what I saw and I've just been waiting for a damn long time for this to come to the West. So incredibly excited. I woke up at 6am getting ready, getting showered, having my breakfast. So in about 10 minutes... We're going to enjoy the chaos that is an MMO launch. No! Right, we're good to go. Let's do this. Failed to connect. Fuck. What? You fucking what game? Here we go. Please work. Oh my god, we're in. I don't want to spend too long on the creation because I don't want to hit the bottleneck. I want to kind of get ahead. Keep her like that. If I want to change her, I can do it at a later date. I just want to get into the game. Right, let's do this. Here's our black spirit friend. Let's go. Oh, I've missed this game so much. Talk to all these people, gain the knowledge. Oh, let's hear the voice acting. Maybe this necklace is the cause of my granddaughter's nightmares. If you really need it, I'd be happy to give it to you. The voice acting's not amazing, but I have heard worse. Now all the other players have started zoning in. Okay, so S and F together is like a combo. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's level six. Now we gotta kill some imp soldiers. Slaughter these guys. It just wants me to practice some combos. Apparently if I do this 10 times, I get access to the map. This is so much easier playing this game in English. Last time I played this, a lot of the stuff was in Korean, so I couldn't understand it. Yay, now I have access to the map. Thank you. Oh my god, I need to get rid of the names of both people's heads. They're a bit of a clusterfuck. There we go. The UI is less of a clusterfuck now. It feels like a very highly populated game. There's so many people running around. Little cinematic. Seen that a million times. All right, talk to our friend Uno. Uno, summon the imp captain. Are you ready, imp boss? Are you fucking ready? I feel like I'm tickling this big guy. I'm actually terrible at playing this class. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm getting my fucking ass kicked. What? There we go. I'm not sure if it was a good idea for me to just play Sorceress when it's a class that I've never actually played before. Alright, so now we're in the first town. You caught a cat. There's the cat quest. I love this area. This is such a gorgeous little area. I really want to get myself a fishing rod so I can, like, fish whilst I'm AFK. Oh, hello. Speaking of fishing rod, you can buy one from Creo. Cheers, dude. Right, let's do a quick bit of fishing. Okay, let's catch a fish. Boom. Uh, SWA. Yay, we caught something. Ancient Relic Shard. 10,000 silver, nice. Ah, oh, such a beautiful world, this game. I forget that when it rains, your character actually looks wet and stuff. Did I just cry kick this dude? Fucking sick. That's level 12. To be honest, I'm glad I've got lots of kill quests at the moment. I really need to learn how to play this sorceress. Oh, this is a good place. There's fucking loads of mobs here. This is where I need to be. Nice little grind spot. Oh my god, I'm playing like absolute shit. Worst sorceress EU. There we go, that's level 13. Okay, nice. So this node is now connected to Velia. So now I can connect other nodes to Velia and send workers out into the forest and stuff. I've never noticed this before, but like blood from the mobs soaks the surrounding area for a short amount of time. I've never noticed that. I remember this guy being quite strong. I'm spooked. I'm pretty sure this guy is a bit of a challenge. I'm not sure. Look at that face. Fucking badass monster. Oh, he's getting wrecked now. Now he's taking some damage. Oh shit. He's just transformed into a humanoid. There we go. Get fucking wrecked. Let's get a black donkey. It makes sense with my character. Let's just call him Leroy. It's a very donkey name, isn't it? Here it is. Leroy, boys. Yay, my mount's level 2. Leroy. I love the puddles in this game. The reflections are fantastic. Just looks so legit. Pretty sure once you get to a certain level of taming, then you can go out and tame horses, which most people seem to do around level 20, so that's my plan. 
Right, I am aware that this is a really good grinding spot. Quite a lot of players here. This doesn't look good. There we go. Now we're doing it. Now we're getting our grind on. Oh, okay. This is new. It's level 14. Nice. This is a fucking fantastic place to grind. Oh, no. Not good. Okay. Saved. Oh, fucking hell. That hurt. That's level 15. There we go. This should be a level up. Level 16. Hello? There is. That's level 16. This new ability I've unlocked is fucking insane. Let me demonstrate. Let's pull a big pack. Pull a fucking huge pack of mobs. Let's create a bit of distance. And then we just AOE everything down. That is so cool. Or apparently I need to reach level 18. Right. That's level 17. One more level and I change grind spots, I think. This grinding is becoming very competitive. This kind of reminds me in RuneScape where you kind of fight over the mobs that you're killing. I feel as though this would be going much better in this specific grind spot with a group. Did Dom just put the respawn rate up or something? Because this grinding has just got way more efficient. Things are spawning way quicker now. Yes, level 18. I can finally change spots. This is really cool. If you click this NPC thing here and then click storage, for example, which is what I've just done, it will take you to the nearest storage person, which is really handy for big cities because for someone like me, I get lost really easily. So this is fantastic. I should probably tick this box. Throw away useless items caught during fishing. I forgot how dark it is in this place. Luckily, we've got a lantern. Much better. Okay, so this is the next grind spot. Oh, fucking hell, that hurt. I might die. Do not let the scarecrow ghosts hit you. They hit like trucks. Level 19. Nice big pull. Now everything dies at once. Beautiful. Starting to become daylight again. Yay. There we go. That's level 20. Shouldn't be too long until I'm going to go and get a horse. I think I'll probably finish with this area then... Figure out how to get a horse. Apparently I've got a reward. Oh fuck. Don't just stand in the monster's attacks, Craig. You fucking potato. Oh fuck, I haven't even drank my tea. I bet my tea's going cold. Yeah, it's fucking cold. Great. This is what happens when I play Black Desert. I just lose track of time. Just kind of get in the grinding mood. And then I forget about everything else. Oh nice, we got an upgrade. A talisman. And that's level 21. Two more levels and I'm going to do something else, I think. Oh, this is fantastic. I've got this whole entire field to myself. Wipe them all out. Should be level 22. Fucking die, noobs. Oh, my eyes are starting to hurt. Okay, I figured out how to do this awesome ability. So it's just down and then both of the mouse buttons. And she does like a flying karate kick through the air. So fucking cool. I've almost been playing this game for about six hours already. Here we go. This should be the level. There it is. Level 23. I'm off to the next area. Maybe I'll do some quests. A bit of parkour. Get on the roof. Hello, pumpkins. Questo completo. Oh, fuck. There's a horse here. I need to tame a horse soon. Um. Okay, I'll do those quests. Then I'll go tame a horse. Jump it! Come on, horse. There we go. I could just buy a horse, but that's boring. Let's go manually go tame a horse. Raw sugar. I'm sure it's mineral water. All right, apparently what we do is we right click on the raw sugar. We press start. We go on heating. We combine the raw sugar with the mineral water. That's cool. A little stove appears. Very immersive. So now we have... 10 lumps of raw sugar. Oh my god, we found a horse. We found a fucking horse. Right, right, right. Uh, inventory. Equip this. I always struggle with this bit. Jumper! There we go. Alright, we got a little boss summon to do. These are always fun. This is a cool boss. He kind of flails a chain around. This guy's a beast. There we go. Get karate kicked to the dick. Lovely monster. Acid spider. As if they weren't bad enough as it is. Black Spirit's got a lot creepier recently. So I think we're going to save this guy and his little girl from a bunch of Naga. 
Interesting. Your mount is getting... Oh, no. No, don't kill my horse. Look at them all. They're all on my horse. Fucking... I've got your horse. Oh, my God. I, I was just in time, I think. You leave my horse alone. So this seems to be another little town. What's the name of this town? Sure. Glish. Oh, God. He's got even more creepy. What the fuck? This guy is spooky. One more level up from the horse, and then I have training level five, in which I can then catch a better mount. Oh, my God. This is going to be so good. Die. Oh, my God. This place here is such a good grind spot. This is where we want to be. A nice room. There we go, level 24. Finally, we have training level 5. Now we can get a horse. There's a horse. Right. Oh, fuck. That's bad. Okay, I think we fucked up there. Left click. Then we go space bar. Oh, shit. Oh, then we bash this. Come on. Then we get closer to the horse. Taming failed, you what? Fuck. This horse doesn't want to be captured, does he? I don't know if I've got enough capturing ropes. That doesn't make sense. If I fail to capture a horse with 20 pieces of rope, then I might just buy a horse. All right, here he is, the little bastard. Round two. Oh, I see. When the horse raises... Oh, when the horse raises its hooves, that's when you've got to press space bar. You've got to time it properly. Well, fuck you, horse. There we go. Now we're feeding him some sugar. We're doing it. Do you like that horse? Mount. Okay, you tried to get on too quickly. And now... Mount. <gasps> we got him! Yes! We got a horse! Get fucking wrecked, donkey. We don't need you anymore. We've got a horse! Feels so much better actually going out and capturing the horse than just buying it from the shop. That seems like the easy way out. Now I've got an emotional connection with this fucker. Tier 2, nice. Not bad. That's better. Look at this thing move. That speed difference. Let's buy some places for storage. There we go. So because we invested some contribution points into a building and had it as storage, we now have more storage space when we talk to our warehouse manager. Excellent. Now I'm ready to get the grind on. Joined up a group with some of the guildies and we're all gonna meet at this place and go pretty hard. Oh my god. The fucking frame drop here. There it is, level 25, nice. This archer is just going around on the horse, kicking ass, pulling everything. What a pro. This is a much better spot now. So much more efficient leveling in a group. It does seem as though you get way more XP for leveling in a group. It's also a lot more fun. It's a little bit soul-destroying just leveling on your own. Die. AoE all the mobs. Aiming for the level 30 dream tonight. Fucking steal all the kills. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that asshole. My kills. My XP. Fuck you. Almost 27. I think we're changing grinding spots after this place. There it is, 27, sorted. Oops. Horse, you do not belong in there. Get out of there, horse. This is awesome, we're like the only guild leveling here at the moment. We can all just team up on these things. Big fucking XP. All the AoE in the world. Flying karate kicks, jump in there. Nice, apparently the guild I'm in is currently number one on the server. Which feels good. This is the server that a streamer called Kungan's on. So it's Leviathan, the guild I'm in, versus uh, Nihilum or Nilum. Not sure how you pronounce it. Come on, almost level 28. Please, I need a break. My eyes are starting to hurt. 
Rip eyes. Oh fuck, almost died there. And that's level 28. I got myself my tier 5 horse and all of my conqueror's gear come through in the post. So I've got a bunch of upgrades. I'm just trying to think of a name for the horse. Level 30. Holy shit, that took a long time. I've been playing almost 14 hours today. What the actual fuck? My account literally hasn't been logged out since the game has launched. Yeah, we got Blackstone. That is what we want. So, this is fucking awesome. I've got this whole grinding spot to myself. It's almost like everyone has just gone to bed and it's just me here. Level 31. What the fuck? I get so much more XP now just leveling on my own. Wow. Right, I need to go to bed. I think I just need to go to bed. My fucking eyes are burning. How long have I played today? Almost 15 hours at this point. I haven't no life a game like this since I first discovered World of Warcraft. Day two. Okay, so I've been recording for a while, but I actually filled my hard drive with Black Desert footage, so I had to delete a few things. Since then, I've managed to grind to level 39, and I've recently got this awesome wagon to store a bunch of things. The grind has been very real. I'm slowly but surely getting there. 11 more levels, and I've hit the soft cap. I've got this wagon so I can store a lot more potions because in this game you have a weight limit and that's something you need to be rather conscious of because it's very easy to hit the weight limit. I'm kind of bordering on the weight limit right now. So I'm off to grind chimeras at this level with some people from the guild. Chimeras are like these robot things. Yeah, yeah they're weird, aren't they? The fuck? <laughs> it's a bit out of place in this game. On my way to fight a guild boss or something. This is like a giant world boss, some kind of raid thing. And all of these people here are in my guild. Apparently this is going to take a damn long time to kill. Rocking that sweet 43 frames per second. Bit of a clusterfuck, not going to lie. I should probably equip a lantern so I can see better. That's better. If I get hit by this thing, it will just one hit me. So I need to make sure I'm dodging everything. Let's conjure a big ball of death. And boom. Oh! Yeah, yeah. But look what that is. That's Rip. It's just a big line of people following me back from their death. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't get to level 50 tomorrow, I'm going to cut myself. <laughs> it's 1am tonight. Need to get to 44 before I can go to bed. Fucking long. Once I'm at 44, apparently it doesn't take too long to get to 50. The grind is starting to take its toll on me. There it is, level 42. Two more levels and I can go to bed. So each class has their own ultimate ability and as a sorceress, this is mine. How fucking cool is that? Lots of black stuff just kind of comes from the sky. There's so much damage. I can also do this really cool ability here. Hopefully it's not gonna get me killed. Where I summon this big fucking ball of energy, flow, and then I can throw it. Which looks so cool. The Sorceress has some really nice abilities. Oh, the grind to 44 is so fucking long. Apparently it gets easier at 44 because I change grind spot and I make a lot of money from the place I'm grinding at. I love this mobility thing. Just kind of teleport through the air. No, jump here. I can't wait until I get three pets to all loot for me. Save so much time. 0.03% to go. Is this the level? Come on. There it is. Dark armor. 43. One more level. Probably another hour and a half until 44. And I can go to bed. Fucking so done grinding on these chimeras. I am so done. One eternity later. I don't want to, oh my god, I'm close to, I don't want to die. If I die, I actually lose experience. I don't think I've actually mentioned that about this game before. But yeah, you don't want to die. It becomes even more of a problem once you're like past level 50 because it takes so long to level up that dying almost wastes about half an hour. So you just do not want to die in this. Here we go. This should be the level. Last kill. Please. 
Ah, oh, level 44. Now I can finally go to bed. And tomorrow, I can get to level 50 at the catfish. Oh my fucking god, I just made so much money. 400,000 silver. Before bed, I'm going to upgrade my gear. To do this, you unequip this. You put that there. And you use black stones to enhance it. I think you can get to plus 5 straight away. Without any risk of failure. This has given me DP, which stands for defense points, I think. There we go. Now I've got 27 attack power and 29 defense power. It's not great, but it's a start. I will have a lot more attack power soon because I've got these five blackstone weapon enhancements. But I haven't got the right weapon that I want to enhance yet. So I'm just waiting for one of those to come up on the auction house. Then I can start getting some big upgrades. There we go. Now we're 32, 29. There we go, we'll just leave this to fish overnight. Hopefully it'll get me some XP. Day three. This is such good XP, this spot. This is my favourite grinding spot so far. If only I was a little bit of a higher level to actually help the group I'm in. I'm kind of getting carried right now. Level 45. The spooky thing about being level 45 is I'm actually flagged for PvP now. So if someone wants to attack me, then they can, but it will give them negative karma. So, someone just can't come up to me and grief me for no reason. No one would do that. Five levels to go until soft cap. So, to get from 43 to 44, it took me about an hour and a half. To get from 45 to 46, has taken me just less than 25 minutes with my double XP scroll. So much quicker, especially with a group. It's a lot more enjoyable as well. Come on, 46. There it is. Almost 47. It's going so fast now. Is this 47? Yes, it is. Sir, 48. Yeah, we'll never appreciate it. Yeah, congrats, man. So right now we're doing a guild quest, and most of the guild that's past level 40 are all in this area. We need to kill 4,000 of these skeleton lizard things. It may seem like a daunting task, but it shouldn't take us any longer than two hours. And then we level up the guild, then we can invite some more people into it. I think I just got really lucky. I got the best in slot earring drop from one of the mobs. It's worth a maximum of 12.5 mil. Apparently it could be like the server second drop because one of our other guildies got one as well. So that's fucking cool. Apparently I got another reward. <gasps> More combat XP. Playtime 50 hours. Three XP scrolls. Oh my god. Well that's going to see me through nicely to level 50. Because I feel like I kind of wasted the one I just used. Had to take a break to do all the guild stuff and uh, actually leave the house. But now I'm back, ready to finally get to the promised land of level 50. Come on! There it is, that's 49. One more level and we are good. Live to win! Till you die! There we go, 49.999. Now all I need to do is a quest, and then I am level 50. Monarch of Darkness, you ain't got nothing on me, bro. Summon more rads. There we go, and that was it. That wasn't that hard. I'm going to just kill one of these warriors, and that should give me the level. Here it is. Fuck you, warrior. You are not dead yet. Why are you not dead? There it is, level 50, a new skill, Imminent Doom. Ah, oh, what a long, long journey. Oh my god, the upgrades are real. A million silver. Wow. Ah, oh, poor horse, it's like covered in blood. Alright, so right now what we're doing is our daily boss scrolls. And these guys can drop pretty decent gear. So what you want to do is, as a guild, you will kind of use your scrolls at the same time because everyone can get loot. So if you're in a group of five, then you're basically getting loot from this guy five times. And this is Red Nose. He's a handsome chap, isn't he? Is he dead? Die, Red Nose. It's not going to take him long to fall. Red Nose reward bundle and a Blackstone. Awesome. PvE content, boys. This game does have quite a lot of bosses in it, to be fair. So if you count that as PvE content, it has plenty of it. There we go. Rip red nose. Oh, shit! 
Nice! Weapon Blackstone! Die! Unleash my shards. Kick his ass. Jump in the clusterfuck. All those particle effects. My computer cannot run this at more than 42 frames per second. So this is the house I decided to buy. I haven't gotten around to putting the furniture down or anything. So I'm going to check it out now. Yeah, Sim Simulator. Right, let's take a tour of the house. Player housing hype. There we go. So can I like sit here? Would you like to receive the facility buff? Oh, you can actually read books from the shelf. This is going to be great for video making purposes. I can just do a nice little panning shot. Of my character laying on the bed. Oh my god, my RNG is so bad. What I need to do is make a bunch of beer. And then we go continuous production. Then it uses all of the stuff I've got enough for in my inventory. So this is how you level up cooking. There we go. Yeah, I'm doing it. Now I'm in the A grade for cooking. It's it's obvious that man, not many people cook. Okay, guys, so I may be level 50, but my journey in Black Desert has really only just begun. Because I kind of rushed to level 50, the soft cap, I kind of skipped out on a lot of quests. And as a result of that, I have very little contribution points, not as much energy as I should have. And I need to go back and do all of that good stuff. And on top of that, I've got to eventually grind to level 55, which is probably going to be the hard cap for a good few months until they release the desert and all of the other continents. There's a lot to this world. It's fucking huge and there's so much I'm yet to explore. I really have just scratched the surface in this game. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, guys. It took me a damn long time to make, so if you did enjoy it, then please give it a like. Hope you enjoyed the video. You take it easy, and I'll see you again really soon. What? I'm so sold right now. I am so sold. Good player housing. Good combat system. Decent graphics. Amazing character customization. This is what I want.